Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl T, and I'm back, y'all. I'm back for another video of what is in my coloring book collection. So, uh, if you don't know already, this is a series that I started. I did a poll asking um, who would like to see that, and many of you said yes. Let's see what's in your coloring book collection in as of 2024. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna let you guys know there are a lot of books in this one. So um, this will be a long video. If you don't like long videos, I'm sorry. You can always pause it and come back to it later. And for those of you who like long videos, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking in there and watching them. I truly appreciate your time. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First we have desserts. Um, Ceramic Tiles, Color by Number, by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. This is a color by number that um, is pretty fun. You just basically go with what they tell you and put your colors on. So it's all desserts. Um, pretty simple and um, pretty easy color by number books. Okay, that is Desserts, Ceramic Tiles, Color by Number. Next, I have Desert Muse coloring book by the lovely Carla Magana. I love her art style. Um, I do apologize. The ceramic, this one is on Amazon paper. Sorry about that. Amazon paper, Amazon printed. All right. This one here, again, is on Amazon paper. I love this book. Um, I love all of her um Art, her all of her art all of her books um, so if you like this kind of artwork where you can just have a lot of fun I would suggest Carla Magana for those of you who are new to coloring and trying to figure out you know some fun books to color I definitely think that adding Carla Magana to your collection would be a great one because she um, has some really really fun art to color and that is Desert Muse by Carla Magana. Next, I have Delightful Time by Thai Son. This is printed on Amazon paper. This is a grayscale coloring book. I believe you can also find uh, Thai Son's work on Etsy. This is a really, really cute book. Very cute, see. Super cute. Yeah. And that is Delightful Time by Thai San. That is on Amazon paper. Next, I have Deco Dolls by Carla Magana. Another Amazon printed book. But very nice, very fun images. Fun to color, be crazy or not, it's up to you. Her pages just say, have fun. And that's what I really love about, about her art style. Very nice. That is Deco Dolls by Carla Magana. Debbie McComber's Very Merry Christmas Coloring Book. And um, I have her first one and I really liked it. So I wanted to get this one. And so, you know, one side here, this is not Amazon printed. The paper in here is pretty thick. You can hear that. Um, if you like Christmas coloring books, this is a nice one. Um, it is considered single-sided. You, if you don't care about the story, you can just use alcohol markers to cover that up or to color your page. Yes, that is Debbie McComber's Very Merry Christmas Coloring Book. Then I have Debbie McComber's Holly Jolly Christmas Coloring Book. Again, this is not Amazon printed, it's on thick paper. If you like Christmas like I do, I like to have nice Christmas coloring books. This is super cute.
for those who like to knit, there's a knitting page there. Very, very cute. That is Debbie McComber's Holly Jolly Christmas Coloring Book. Next I have Day of the Dead Coloring Book. And this one is illustrated, I think, um, two illustrators. Yes, Mauro Mazzara, Mazzara and Andrea Bianchi. This is a Thunder Bay Press coloring book. I think this one was illustrated in 2016. The images in here are gorgeous. Uh, oh, I did color one. We have there. That was really fun. But if you like uh, Dia de los Muertos, then this is a cool book to have. Lots of skulls. I love this one. I love the ladies dressed up like that. Very, very nice. And this is not on Amazon paper. It's on nice paper. It is uh, single-sided. So you can use markers. That is Day of the Dead coloring book. Next I have Gabby Wolf's Daydreams. This is one of her first ones, I believe. And it's a smaller size book. Super cute, super cute little scenes. Now she has a mini mania and I like that mini mania. Super cute, fun coloring book. This is on Amazon paper. This is Daydreams by Gabby Wolf. Next I have the Darling Collection Portraits by Kelly Horton. Very cute. If you like big eyed uh, drawings, this is a book for you. Big eyed girls. Coloring skin, map your colors. Coloring hair. Very, very cool book. Okay, that is Amazon printed as well. Again, that is The Darling Collection Portraits by Kelly Horton. Then we have Cute Mandalas by Apsi Sumanasiri. This is not Amazon printed. Very cute. These are um, pretty decent paper. They are perforated. Lots of cute stuff to color. If you like cutesy, this would be cute for fall. Very cute. That is cute mandalas. Then I have cute dolls. And who is this one by? April Tyler. Cute dolls. This is um, Amazon printed. And so we have these cute little dolls. I thought this is cute. Some simple coloring or not so simple. You, you, know, you make it as simple as you want. You can do shading or not. Her face looks like it has a little grayscale on it. You can see that her nose. <laughs> this is cute. All right, and that is Cute Dolls for Grown Ups by April Tyler. Then I have Cute Cats Color by Number. This is by Sharon Lane Holm. This is a Dover coloring book. This is not on Amazon paper, it's on uh, Create. Um, Creative Haven paper or Dover's paper. And as you can see, I've done 
that one. They're so fun. Super cute. Easy. Just a fun little book. This one is geared more towards children, but um, I like this book. I thought it was super cute, and I wanted to get it. So that is Cute Cats Color by Number by Sharon Lane Holm. Next, I have Cute and Spooky by Jade Summer. This is Amazon printed. I have done a few in here. <laughs> have some in landscape as well so yeah that is cute and spooky coloring book and if you have not noticed it does have grayscale all right that is by jade summer next i have melanin oh cute and pretty melanin fairies this is an amazon printed book uh i believe this is also ai you can kind of tell uh i play around on ai um on an ai app making images and you can kind of tell if you have ever ever done it or not you can kind of tell because there's things happening on their bodies like these little dots that some some for some reason can never go away when you're you know and if you notice I think this the person who created this book realizes the hands were wonky and they're not showing the hands because that is another thing that AI images can't seem to correct her hands but yeah so that is Cute and Pretty Melanin Fairies. Now, if you're interested in any of these books, they will be listed below. If I can't find them, you will not see those listed. Next, I have the Cute Chibi Christmas Coloring Book. This is not an Amazon printed book. This is actually a really great paper. You can hear it, single-sided. Super cute. The binding is sewn, and I think it's a great quality book. I'm not so big on all the busyness in the background, but you can always um, color over that and do your own thing. So, Or you can just color it all in. It's up to you. Yeah, super cute book. That is the cute, chibi Christmas coloring book. This is by Christopher Hart. Next we have Curious Creatures by Millie Murata. This is also a um, non-Amazon printed book. You have thick paper. Beautiful images in here. The paper is nice. It has some tooth to it. Not super, super smooth, but it feels like it has a little texture to it. So it looks like she's giving you one with all the lines and maybe what she does before she adds all of this. Wow. Yes, so that is Curious Creatures by Millie Murata. Next one of my baby daddies <laughs> it just Elba <laughs> crush and color by Maurizio Campadelli uh I I think he is so hot he is so fine Ooh. anyways uh this is not an Amazon printed book this is <laughs> see what this says the sexiest man ever I truly believe that one of them <laughs> But anyways, this is not Amazon printed. This is on decent paper. It's, it's okay. Um, it is perforated, so you can rip those out. It's just Idris Elba in many different uh, scenes. 
Nice. Yep. Pretty nice book. <laughs> that is Idris Elba, the Crushing Color. My next baby is happy. Another fine man. You know, what do you call it? Like little crushes I have on these two. Uh, Crush in Color, Jason Momoa. <laughs> this is also illustrated by Maurizio Campadelli. Um, yes, Jason Momoa. Same thing. This is not Amazon printed. It's on perforated. Uh, you can rip these out. And it's just uh, lots of different cool scenes with Jason Momoa. That handsome guy. Yeah, very nice. All right, and that is Jason Momoa. This is a Crush and Color series. Next, I have Crowned Fantasy Queens by um, Deborah Muller. This is on Amazon paper. I did her. And it's just a bunch of ladies with crowns. I don't have very many Deborah Muller coloring books, but I, I do like this one. All right, and that is Crowned Fantasy Queens by Deborah Muller. Next we have Creature Encantante or Enchanted Creatures by Grazia Salvo. This is also an Amazon printed book. But images are so nice so pretty I did did her I think I did another one in here as well this is a very nice book oh yeah there she is I did her very sparkly lots of gel pens on that too just lots of fun. That is Creature Encantante. Next, we're going to get into lots of Creative Haven. I think the remaining, maybe all Creative Haven books. Um, so we'll start with Wonders of Nature by George Tufexis. I love George Tufexis' Color by Numbers. And so this is uh, one that I would uh, collect. I don't think I've done any in this one yet, but uh, and I don't show the the uh, finished one, so not really much to see. But that this is a really cool <laughs> color by number book, and his books are pretty thick, so you get quite a bit. So I'm sorry, that was Wonders of Nature, color by number, and all of the Creative Haven are not on Amazon paper. And they all are perforated, so you can remove pages. Next, one of my favorite um, illustrators from the Creative Haven group is Teresa Goodrich. I'm sorry, Teresa Goodrich. I can't get it out. Um, she's a very sweet woman, and I really love her art style. So this is Wish You Were Here. Really, really nice. Images traveling different places. There you go. That's Wish You Were Here by Teresa Goodrich. Then we have Charming Wintertime Scenes by George Tufexis. This is a color by number. What did not do any in here yet. They're so vibrant when they're done. Uh, I just love his stuff. I have a simple, more simple one here. Another more simple one. That is Wintertime Scenes, Color by Number by George Tufexis. Then we have Winter Wonderland by uh, Teresa Goodridge.
I think this could be one of her earlier books because the drawing style is a little, just a little different. This one's copywritten in 2016. Uh, this one's not perforated. But yeah. Teresa Goodridge. You can see how the style changed um, over the years. I did this one. That was fun to do. Yeah, that is Winter Wonderland. Next we have Wanderlust by George Tufexes, color by number. Again, we have landscape and we have vertical pages. That's nice. All right, so that is Wanderlust by George Tufexes. Then we have Village Charm by Teresa Goodridge. So if you've noticed <laughs> so far, it's George Dufex and Teresa Goodridge. You can kind of tell who my favorites are <laughs> in this line. Uh, but this is Village Charm by Teresa Goodridge. And I did that one. I did this one um, as a color along on my channel. Very nice images in here. If you like this style, I always enjoy coloring on this paper. Some people don't, but I don't understand that, but you know, to each his own. But I really enjoy coloring on this paper. I think I did another one in here, I wanna say. Maybe, maybe not. No. That is Village Charm by Teresa Goodridge. Next I have Summer Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. This is also an uh, older book, I believe. Let's see, 2016, yeah. You can tell the drawings are just a little different compared to the newer, release, newer released books. But yeah, that is Summer, I think, did I do one? Yeah, I did this one. I also did this one. Um, on camera as well this was really fun I love that <laughs> um, but yeah this is a nice book as well even though you know the styles changed just a bit it's still you could still tell it's a Teresa Goodrich image so fun to color love this summer scenes by Teresa Goodrich next I have still life color by number this one is by Diego Jordan Berriera I did one in here, that one. These are a little bit more simple um, to color, color by number. Looks like lots of wine, <laughs> fruit and stuff like that. Yeah, that is still life, color by number. Then we have spring scenes, color by number by Teresa Goodridge. This one was 2016 as well. Very nice images, I love that. I wanna say I did one in here. Maybe not, maybe just that first page. Probably so. Oh, no, I did. I did that one. All right, and that is Spring Scenes Coloring Book by Teresa Goodridge. Next we have Spectacular Spring Scenes by George Tufexis. This is a color by number. I did that one. Turns out really nice. And so it does, it yellowed, but hey. Cool Spring Scenes. Oh, it's cute. 
I don't know how much you guys can see because the lines are not super dark for these grayscale books. That is Spectacular Spring Scenes by George Tufexis. Then I have Sea Life, color by number. This is also George Tufexis, I believe. No, yeah, George Tufexis. <laughs> Uh, this one's from 2015, so this is older book. This one I did with colored pencils. So you can see the other ones I'm doing that I've shown have been done with markers. This is with colored pencils. I want to say Crayola. So yeah, you can do pencils. Just takes a little longer in my opinion. <laughs> but all of these are Sea Life images. Um, pretty cool like it sea turtle cute that is sea life color by number by George Tufexis next I have creative havens um, rose windows by Joel s Avrin and these are pretty fun they're simple you can use two colors three colors one color I mean it's really up to you as you can see they're really simple and they are grayscale. And that is Rose Windows. And I have Romantic Country Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. This one, 2019. So cute, I love all the little romantic scenes here, so cute. Oh, I did one. I think I did this one on camera. Yeah, this was really fun to do. I have fun in her page. Um, I have fun coloring her pages. I can't get it out. Super cute. Love it. That is Romantic Country Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. Next, I have Norman Rockwell Classics. Uh, rendered by Sarah Jackson. So if you like these, you can color them. You can look up the originals and try to color those the same way. Or just have fun and do it yourself. I did that one. That was fun to color. Yeah, super cute. That is Norman Rockwell Classics from the Saturday Evening Post. Okay, and then next I have Main Street Coloring Book by Teresa Goodridge. This book I was attempting to finish. They have not completed all of the pages, but I did finish all of my whips. So I got quite a few done in here. That one, love how that turned out. Tons of them in here. Really, really nice images. Did I do that one? Oh yeah, that was fun too. I actually added uh, glossy accents for the windows. I don't know if you guys can see them shining, the windows. <laughs> that was fun. Did that one. I did quite a bit. <laughs> I have fun in here. Just didn't finish it. So. Yeah. That is Main Street Coloring Book by Teresa Goodridge. Next I have Magnificent Tiffany Windows. Rendered by Marty Noble. This one I plan to actually uh, replicate. What's cool is that it tells you which one it is, the Frank Memorial window. So I can go look those up and color accordingly. So if you like Tiffany windows, this is a cool book. All right, that is Magnificent Tiffany windows. Next I have Love by Marjorie Sarnot. This was a gift to me, I believe. 
Yeah, that was Happy Meal. And that is Marjorie Sarnot. A lot of people love Marjorie Sarnot. Don't be afraid with all of this going on. Her big, her pictures can be uh, a lot, showing a lot going on. You can color it that way or you, you don't have to. It's, you know, make it simple for yourself. Yeah. That is Love by Marjorie Sarnot. Next, I have Horses, Color by Number, by George Tufexis. So it's just a bunch of horse pictures. And like I stated earlier, I like to, I like George Tufexis and I kind of want to have all of his books. Uh, I just like the Color by Number. Um, and this is an older one as well. So let's see, this one... 2014, yeah, George Tufexis. And I got that at Ollie's for 99 cents. Can you believe it? <laughs> That's um, Home Sweet Home by Teresa Goodridge. This one is 2019. This is a really cute book. <clears throat> Lots of interiors. I did that one, it was fun. I wanna say that's all the ones I colored in here. Oh no, another one. Oh, that one was really fun. I really enjoyed coloring that. Yeah. So yeah, really nice book. That's Home Sweet Home by Teresa Goodrich. Next I have Home for the Holidays by Teresa Goodrich. You can see the difference from 2014 and 16 to now. These are newer books. Lots of beautiful images. Very nice. That is Home for the Holidays by Teresa Goodrich. Then I have Gnome Sweet Gnome by Teresa Goodrich. Uh, this was a gift. I don't really like gnomes right now. <laughs> I colored too many of them one year and I was just like, I'm gnomed out. Gnomes are like super cute and everything, but I don't want to color them right now. <laughs> um, but I thank you for the gift because I did want this because of who the illustrator is. Teresa Goodridge. I love her. So yes, that's gnome, sweet gnome. Then we have <clears throat> Glorious Gardens by George Tufexis. I did that one. That was really fun to do. That was with, uh, uh, what markers were these? Um, Stabilo. Stabilo markers. That was really fun. And Prismacolor markers. So this is lots of garden scenes and flowers. If you like that. And you want color by number. Um, this is a nice book. Really, really nice book. So that is Glorious Gardens by George Tufexis. Then I have Futuristic Worlds by Josh Carrington. This is a really bizarre book and that's why I have it. <laughs> I like weird, bizarre because I think it's unique. Kind of look like aliens almost. From a special world. Yeah. That is Futuristic Worlds by Josh Carrington. Then I have Floral Designs Color by Number by Jessica Mazurkowitz. And yeah, I did color one, I can see it yellowing. And I did that one. But this one's a little bit more simple. Yeah, see? It's a little more simple. You can have fun in this one. So that is Floral Design by Jessica Mazurkowitz. 
Then I have Festive Mexican Talavera Designs by Marjorie Sarnot. I love Mexican culture. This was a gift. And so I wanted to have this. So I thought the images are super cute. <laughs> super cute. That is Festive Mexican Talavera Designs by Marjorie Sarnot. Then I have Fantastical Dragons by Erin Pocock. And I did that one, which was really fun. I had fun coloring that. But lots of beautiful dragon images in here. Not many people really know about <clears throat> some of these artists from Creative Haven. Most people, you know, like know Marjorie Sarnat, Angela Porter, Teresa Goodridge. Um, but some of the other ones don't get as much attention. And so when I find great artwork, I, I like to, to, you know, support. So that's Fantastical Dragons by Aaron Pocock. Then I have Entangled Forest by Angela Porter. So some people might see this and be like, oh my God, I can't. <laughs> you can, you really can. <laughs> I've seen these pictures done and they look amazing. Just add color, just, you know, add color. Very cool. That's Entangled Forest by Angela Porter. We have Entangled Christmas by Angela Porter. Oh, I did one. See, just add color. <laughs> you don't have to do all the crazy. <laughs> just add some color. But yeah, that is Entangled Christmas Coloring Book by Angela Porter. Then we have Endless Summer by George Tufexis. So summer scenes. Beach scenes, forest, summer forest scenes, like that there. Backpacking. A nice day by the lake. This is nice. Camping, RV camping. Windsurfing. Boating. Lots of different summer scenes. So that is Endless Summer by George Tufexis. Then I have Enchanted by uh, Marjorie Sarnot. This was a gift. Thank you for the gift. And this is really cool, this one. I like the images in here. They're so cute. Look at that one. I love that. <clears throat> very, very nice. Believe in your own magic. Very cool. That is Enchanted by Marjorie Sarnot. Next I have Dogs, and this is by Diego Jordan Pereira. This is all dogs. I think I did one in here too. Yep. This dog right here. <laughs> I like how it turned out. So as you can see, there's big spaces. You may not want to use your markers for it. You might. Uh, I was thinking paint using paint because it just there's so much big spaces. I don't want to suck up my markers because that's what happened in that page. Uh, but super cute dogs, color by number. You can even use crayons in that. All right, next I have country scenes, color by number by George Tufexis. I did quite a few in here. This is when I was really getting into his books. <laughs> trying with markers, just trying to find what I liked best. Trying with alcohol markers. Um, but yeah, these are really nice. When you use uh, alcohol markers or any other kind of marker, it's brighter. 
Um, you can use colored pencils, like some areas, some pages you might want to because the areas are so teeny tiny to get in with markers and you don't want to bleed over. So, But that is Country Scenes by George C. Fexis. Then we have Country Kitchen Charm by Teresa Goodridge. This was happy mail to me. Wipe is what you bake it. <laughs> Very cute book. If you're someone like myself who likes to bake, cook for your family, this is a cute book to have. I want to say I did one in here. Where is it? Oh, did that one. I know I did another one. Where is it? Maybe not this book. No. Yeah, so very cute kitchen pages. Country Kitchen Charm by Teresa Goodridge. Next we have Country Gardens by Teresa Goodridge. I did that one. That was fun. Very nice book. I did that one. That was really fun. Yeah, so that is Country Gardens by Teresa Goodridge. We have Country Farm Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. <laughs> See, everything's Teresa Goodridge <laughs> and George Tufexis. <laughs> I just like I just like their style. I don't know. I just like it. Keep calm and farm on. That is Country Farm Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. Then we have City Sites by George Tufexis. Color by number. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was fun, fun and bright. I loved it. That was fun. Yeah, lots of city scenes. Chicago. Lots of city scenes. T-shirts and caps. Yeah. That is City Sights by George Defexis. Then we have Christmas Charm by Teresa Goodrich. Did I do anything in here? Might have. We shall see. Lots of cute winter and Christmas scenes. Did I? Yes, I did that one. And if you can see, I used a uh, Glossy accents for the windows. That was fun. <laughs> that was really fun. Lots of nice images in here. A church. Love that. Very, very nice book. So that is Christmas Charm by Teresa Goodridge. Then we have Christmas Color by Number by George Tufexis. Really cool Christmas scenes. I think I did one. Yeah, I did this one, the Nutcracker. That was fun. Lots of cool Christmas scenes. I did another one. Oh, this one. Very cool. Yeah, I had fun in this one. All right, that is Christmas Color by Number by George Dufexis. Then we have Cheerful Inspirations by Teresa Goodridge. Now, I don't typically like color and quotes, but again, y'all, this is Teresa Goodridge, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got this one. And I did one, I did one. Follow your dreams. And I did this uh, using pointillism. <clears throat> pointillism is where you, you shade and color with dots. 
but I'll bring it up so you guys can see. Just with dots. That was fun. Yeah, just do your best. So this is very inspirational, and that is Cheerful Inspirations by Teresa Goodridge. Then I have Day of the Dead. This is by David Edgerly and Chris Edgerly, the Edgy Brothers. I thought the artwork in this was nice. Again, Mexican culture. Day of the Dead. I thought this was pretty cool. This was a gift. Very cool. That is Day of the Dead coloring book by the Edgy Brothers. Then I have By the Sea, Color by Number by George Tufexis. And I did this one. That one. That one. This one was done in colored pencils. Prismacolor. So again, lots of sea themed color by numbers. Yeah, that is By the Sea by George Tufexis. Next, I have Butterflies color by number by Jan Sovac. This one, 2015, it's an older one. I did this one here. But as you can see, larger spaces, if you're someone who can't do the small spaces, this might be something you like. And that is Butterflies, Color by Number by Jan Sovac. Then I have Bizarro Land by Dan Peraro. Another quirky, weird book. Love it. Some really interesting things happening in this book. <laughs> and I did color one, I think, um, towards the back. I did this one. This was fun to do. Yeah, I just have fun with it. As you can see, have fun. Just, yes, Bizarro Land. Love it. Dan Peraro. Then we have <clears throat> Birds Color by Number by, I think this is George Tufexis. This is from 2015. I did the Eagle. All different birds. Really cool book. I love birds. Birds Colored by Number by George Tufexis. Then I have Birds and Blossoms by Marjorie Sarnot. Again, birds is a theme, and I like birds. <laughs> So this one was a must have. Gorgeous birds in here. Beautiful book. That is Birds and Blossoms by Marjorie Sarnot. Then we have Best Dressed Pets by Marjorie Sarnot. This is super cute. I love the dogs. <laughs> they're so cute. I think they're so cute. This is so cute. Best Dressed Pets by Marjorie Sarnot. Then we have Autumn Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. This is a book I'll be coloring in really soon. I've done that one. I've done quite a few in here. Actually, these are fun. This is an earlier book, I believe. Yeah, 2017. That one. 
love my sky on that one. This is a really fun book. Trick or treat. That one. This is this is I paint I colored this like the color of my house. It's not as bright yellow. Um, but I was like, that's my house. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I love it. This is a nice book. This is Autumn Scenes by Teresa Goodridge. Then we have Autumn Inspirations by George Tufexis. Color by number. Love that. Very, very nice book of Autumn Scenes. My favorite time of year as far as the season itself. Seeing all of the beautiful trees turning colors. I just love that. That is Autumn Inspirations by George Tufexis. Next I have Autumn Harvest by Teresa Goodridge. This is a 2023. I don't think I've done anything in here yet. But cool autumn pictures. Time to start pulling these out and coloring in them. Sweater weather, yes, love my sweaters. That is Autumn Harvest by uh, Teresa Goodridge. Then we have Autumn Charm by Teresa Goodridge. This is 2021. Lots of fun coloring for fall. I love that one. I love this one. I might have to do that one. Just gorgeous. I love it. I don't think I've done anything in this one yet. Love that. Let's see. Probably not. No. So let's show you guys one last one. And that is Autumn Charm by Teresa Goodridge. Next, I have Audubon Birds, rendered by Patricia J. Wynn. Again, I got this because I love birds. This is 2017. And I think I did do one in here. Yeah, I did that one, just with pencil. No backgrounds. A simple coloring. Of birds. And I want to say that because I don't I don't know how to identify many birds, but I want to say she does not tell you the birds. So yeah, so I just found this image and I I pretty much copied it. Let's see. Yes. Pretty much try to copy because <laughs> I was like, what kind of birds are these? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so that is Audubon Birds by uh, Patricia J. Wynn. Art Nouveau Designs by, uh, rendered by Ed Sibbett Jr. So this is inspired by Alfonso Muka. I love that artist. So I had to have this gorgeous Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau was so beautiful. I did this one, gorgeous, I love it. Have fun with that. Gorgeous images. That is Art Nouveau Designs. Then I have Around the World, Color by Number by George Tufexis. This is 2021. I don't think I've done anything in this one. I love how he tells you what location. So this is Dubai, Holland, Ireland, Mexico. I love that. Paris, France. Very nice. Around the World by George Suffexes. 
I then have American Landscapes, Color by Number by Diego Jordan Barriera. I did that one. The color palettes on this in this book are pretty much these colors for every page. It's going to be really nice. So it tells you Bannon Creek, California. It tells you the locations. Blue Mesa, Texas. Which one did I color? Uh, Agua Caliente Hill in Arizona. Lots of cool places. Utah, Wyoming, Alaska, Oregon. Very, very cool. So that is American Landscapes by Diego Jordan Ferreira. Then I have American Beauties by Carol Schmidt. I did her in the front. I don't think I did anything else. This is a 2015 book. Oh, sorry, y'all. Some more pictures there. Very, very nice. That is American Beauties by Carol Schmidt. Then I have Afternoon Tea by Teresa Goodridge. This is 2023. Tea, cute little tea setups. I love the images in here, so cute. That is Afternoon Tea by Teresa Goodridge. And the last um, coloring, oh, sorry, the last coloring book in the Creative Creative Haven series I have is African Glamour by Marjorie Sarnot and C.S. Slater. Really nice images. I kind of don't like that the skin is colored in as black. I really wish we could have colored the skin, but that was the design of the art, so you have to color everything else. I'm not sure if they're trying to make it like silhouette or what. I, I don't understand that, but I think I did color one in here. Oh, there it is. There you go. Color this one. It turned out pretty nice. I like it. Um, and as you can see, although, and I'll bring this up, <laughs> although there are all those little lines, I don't color it like that. You can do what you want to do. I don't, the same with that, you know, uh, I just did it the way I wanted to do it <laughs> and it made it simple for me. But yeah, that is African Glamour by Marjorie Starnot and C.S. Slater. I also have Monique Daywild's Country Daydreams, hand-drawn designs to color. Let me zoom in a bit so you guys can see this a little better. Uh, these were sent to me by a lovely um, person in my Facebook group. She wanted me to know about Monique Daywild. Look at the images in here, gorgeous. And so she sent me a couple and I think I went and got the rest. Gorgeous images. I need to color in this. So beautiful. Very whimsical. Gorgeous book. And let's see when this was. This is um by on printed on by Metz Press. So this is not Amazon printed. Let me see if there is a 2016. So yeah, Country Daydreams, very nice book. <clears throat> then I have coloring book, uh, Cozy Spaces. This is by Rada Prince, Interiors and Magical Places to Color, which of course I'm going to get because I love interior stuff. <laughs> so this is printed on Amazon paper. Gorgeous, you can also get uh, these uh, this artwork by Rated Prince on, I believe, if she's if they're still on Etsy or not, I'm not sure, but I think that's where most people were getting them. Just gorgeous drawings. I love it. Very cute. 
Cozy Spaces by Rada Prince. Then I have We'll Color My Sketchbook Wild 2 by Bennett Klein. So we have lots of cool grayscale images in here. Animals. I love that one. Very cool. That is Wild 2, Color My Sketchbook by uh, Bennett Klein. And last but certainly not least for this video, we have Color My Sketchbook Mythic. This one's a little darker. I'm not sure if I would like this one so much. Uh, but yeah, it's like creepy. Not sure how I feel about it. Say a few more. Yeah, that is Color My Sketchbook Mythic. And that's it, y'all. I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you have any questions about anything that you've seen, you want to flip through of any of these, um, if I've not already done it, I will do the flip through. And again, I'll have these linked in the comment section or in the description below if you're interested. And if you see one that you'd like to buddy color with me, um, just let me know. All right, y'all. Till next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.